In this video we're going to have a look at how to set your favorite colors on the user interface when working on Windows. Please bear in mind that this will change the settings for all of your projects, but you can easily revert to the default colors anytime you want. First let's look at the editing window. Not everyone will care about this, but if you work at your computer for hours at a time, it's good to customize your workspace with a background paper color that will be easy on your eyes. Paper produces color by absorbing and reflecting ambient light, giving you less eye strain, whilst screens produce color by emitting light directly into your eyes, which is why they are more tiring to read, especially at full contrast. So in this video I'm going to show you how to convert the default white paper color background in the editor to a softer creamy color. Of course, the same instructions apply if you want to set your editor background to any color you want. In the main menu, go to Tools, Options to bring up the Options dialog box. Open the Appearance tab and in the Colors section, toggle open the menu for the editor. Select Page from the menu tree and then click inside the Color Well in the Page box. This brings up the Color Options menu. Select a color by clicking inside the color display or enter the color values if you know exactly what color you want. Sometimes it just takes a slight adjustment of the slider to tone down the contrast between the black text and the white background. Your color will preview in this box and if you like it you can save it by clicking on Add to Custom Colors. When you're done, Click on OK in the color menu and OK again in the options pane. If you don't like the color you choose, you can change it back again. Open the options dialog box again and choose use default colors. Now let's see how we can change the background color of your binder. Still in the customizable colors box, this time open the general menu in the colors container and select binder background from the drop down menu. Click on the color well for the binder background. Once again, select a color by clicking inside the color sample or entering your own values. This time, if you want to save your color, drag it from the sample box into the grid rather than clicking on add to custom colors. This avoids accidentally replacing one of the colors you already saved. Now click on OK in the color box and OK again in the options box to accept your changes. Just for fun, I think I'll go in and change the color of my document notes container to match the color of my binder. So I'll go back to Tools, Options and select the Appearance tab in the Options menu. This time I'll select Document Notes Background from the General drop-down menu and click inside its color well. Now I'll simply select the color I saved for the binder and click on OK and OK again. Now that you know how to do it, you can go through the rest of the options and see what else you might want to customize.